Hey there, welcome to Decode. Have you ever wondered if it's possible to replace Windows NT kernel with a newer version so that you'll have an old version of Windows with the new interface? Well, technically speaking, that should be possible, but practically that's impossible. But there are a few things we can do. Let's figure it out in just a few seconds. So the problem is that Windows consists of a few parts, roughly speaking there is a kernel and there is a Win32 subsystem, which is basically everything you see and use right after the boot screen. In an ideal world, those two components should be independent of each other, but that's not the case with Windows. The system base and the subsystem are extremely coupled and each system base was built specifically for the subsystem and vice versa. So the only way for us to see something interesting is to swap the Windows kernel, the whole subsystem and each dependent component, but keep the applications and the registry and other non-critical resources. So for each new version of Windows Base, I will replace the bootloader because the old version does not know how to load the new kernel. The kernel itself, all of the DLLs since they are very coupled to critical Win32 subsystem executables like WinLogon, Windows Server, Session Manager, all of the drivers, System Registry Hive since it's needed for some kernel queries I am not aware of. So let's explore the starting point and this is going to be Windows NT 3.51 which was released in 1995. I think this would be really exciting because this is the last Windows NT version which had Windows 3.1 applications and user interface. The only amends I made so far are that I have changed the background to Windows 11 wallpaper and I also changed the theme so that the palette matched the warmer Windows 2000 color scheme. I did say simply because it would be nicer for the eyes and it gives you some modern vibes even with this ancient interface. So there is a thing which is called a new shell. This is an unstable patch for Windows NT 3.51, which is basically an attempt to port the final Windows 95 interface. It changes the Windows version to 4, which is really bad because it makes all the applications think that this is NT 4, which is incorrect, so it breaks a lot of applications. It also brings the work in progress version of Windows 95 UI ports and it also adds the early version of Explorer. What we are going going to use from the new shell are just a few files responsible for the interface, so let's apply our patch, restart and see what will happen. A few moments later. So the system greets us with the NT 3.51 logo on the background and a regular login window with the 95 user interface. To be honest, this is my favorite kind of Windows NT 3.51 because it's still NT 3.51, it has all of the Windows 3.1 shell applications, however, it's now reskinned, it has a much more modern look and brings some additional features like now I can right click on the window Windows title bar and see the window management menu. So all of the applications that I installed earlier are working just fine and the reskinned Windows NT 3.51 looks really nice. Now let's do a real evolutionary step and try to merge Windows NT 4 base into this Windows NT 3.51 setup. So this time I will do what I initially explained and will replace a lot of the base components. Let's hope that this will work. 12 seconds later. So we are at the system boot step and everything seems just fine right now. We are finally seeing the NT 3.51 logo which now seems funny and here is the NT 4 logo on screen. There are already some weird errors and hopefully these are not critical. Right after logging in, just for a second, I saw my original wallpaper, however, the system surprised us by starting a setup and failing to launch some 16-bit applications. It also tells us that the setup was launched with the wrong parameters. So we are back to the program manager and for some reason it's now outside of the screen. And let's try to run some applications while I will explain the next part. Let's talk about what we are going to do in order to merge Windows 2000 base into our Frankenstein. We are going to do absolutely the same, however in the background I will also spend a few hours so I can figure out the exact system dependencies so that I can copy those two. So let's try to build our Windows Frankenstein 2000 and try to start the system. Three weeks later. So we are seeing a Windows 2000 boot screen which is already impressive and just in a second 
and I am seeing one of the weirdest things I have ever seen. The fact that Windows 2000 logo on screen and NT 3.51 background are together is just absolutely wrong. It now even has the colorful title bars and seems that all of the settings were saved. It seems that most of the NT 3.51 shell applications still do work, however applications like File Manager and Office are still broken. The weirdest thing is to use NT 3.51 color scheme tool, because it shows the 3.1 interface preview but in the end it still does successfully apply that theme. So, unfortunately, I was unable to build the XP Frankenstein yet, and if this ever happens, I will make another video like this. And that's it for this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There is a way to support the channel using buy me a coffee button, and drop a comment below if you have any thoughts on this.